So here we have a meal cold weather or MCW. Menu number 11, scrambled eggs and bacon. Now these MCWs, other than the white packaging, do look a lot like standard MREs. The main difference obviously is that the meal cold weather is intended to be used in arctic conditions and obviously the white packaging is for camouflage in a snowy icy environment but because of the environment that these are made for you couldn't really use an MRE because MRE stands for meals ready to eat which means that the entrees and most of the other items are actually ready to eat that you can just open this up and eat it this is a chicken breast and this is cornbread stuffing so it's just like food that's in a package and you can just open it up and eat it but of course in arctic conditions this stuff would freeze so while it's not as convenient necessarily the MCWs contain a lot of freeze-dried elements so there's no problem with them freezing because they're already they're already dry now, I've never had an MCW before so it's going to be my first time seeing what's inside of one. And I believe that they replaced uh, an older ration called RCW, Ration Cold Weather, which was meant for a full day's worth of food. But this one, going by the, the name Meal Cold Weather, is just one meal like an MRE is. So let's go ahead and take a look inside of this and see what's in here. Not only is the outer packaging white, but all the most of the inner packaging is white too. Well, it's scrambled eggs with bacon, it comes in one package. You can see it's quite tightly vacuum sealed. Looks like it was, this was packaged at the end of 2004. While the meal itself was put together on the 43rd day of 2005. There's an accessory pack. There's a bottle of Tabasco sauce, which is supposed to freeze. Uh, this is obviously a coffee one. It's going to have coffee, creamer, moist towelette, sugar, matches, and toilet paper. Cocoa beverage powder. orange beverage base powder nut raisin mix fig bar standard brown MRE spoon and cinnamon oatmeal, apple and cinnamon So these are the items in the MCW that need water, that aren't ready to eat on their own. The scrambled eggs of bacon takes 8 ounces of water. The oatmeal takes 8 ounces. And the orange beverage base is 12 ounces. Cocoa beverage powder is 6 ounces. So it's a total of 34 ounces of water that you need to prepare this. Alright, let's we'll start with the scrambled eggs with bacon. Sure, you open this up. Oops. Let's do it the easy way. And of course, being in my home, it's pretty convenient to get hot water. I'm not exactly sure how they do it out in the field if they would supply the soldiers with. Fuel tabs or what? Go ahead and add the water. Oh, that's hot. It already smells like scrambled eggs. Just a little bit of water in there.
I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes. I'm going to try out the instant oatmeal, apple, and cinnamon. Like instant oatmeal, nothing, nothing too surprising there. Pretty runny. I guess it'll thicken up. I hope. Now, while those are heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and make the uh, beverages. The cocoa beverage powder takes six ounces of water. Orange beverage based powder takes 12 ounces of water. And I just happen to have a, a beverage bag handy, so I'm going to use that. Pretty granular. Yeah, and this isn't the same as the carbohydrate electrolyte powders that you get in the MREs. This actually tastes something like orange juice. It's, uh, it's more like a tang kind of a thing. So I guess it's actually something pretty appropriate for breakfast. Let's check out the other things in here. Nut raisin mix. And the fig bar. Some like fig newtons. I'll go ahead and check out the instant oatmeal. It's not all of it, but you can see it's not going to fit in there. And the scrambled eggs with bacon. It's actually a pretty good amount of food. Still a little bit more left in there too. Go ahead and try this out. Oatmeal looks like instant oatmeal. I've never been a big oatmeal fan, so not very exciting. But something that'll fill you up. And it's nice when you can actually have it warm. That helps. Scrambled eggs of bacon. And it really did reconstitute pretty nicely. I might use a little bit less water. A little bit runny down here, but the eggs themselves are fine. The bacon's good. The eggs definitely have a reconstituted kind of a texture to them. They're not bad. The bacon's really good. And with the bacon egg, you really don't even need salt and pepper. I'm sure that would help it even more if someone found it kind of bland, but it's got quite a bit of flavor to it. Good amount of stuff in the nut raisin mix. We have our peanuts, raisins, walnuts, almonds, filberts, and walnuts coated with corn protein. Hmm. 
Pretty good, not too salty. Check out a fig bar. Gotta remember this is from 2005, so these things have been sitting around for about eight years. Considering that, it's still pretty moist. It tastes fine. Try the cocoa beverage powder. That's good. I did it cold, but you could do that hot too, obviously. And the orange beverage. It's a definitely a different taste than the uh, electrolyte powder, which is more of a cooly Gatorade kind of thing. This is closer to a tang, I guess, to make it more like a having orange juice with your breakfast. But all in all, I think this this uh, compares pretty well with a meal ready to eat. The only thing is, you have the extra steps of having to reconstitute your food that's freeze dried, but it's pretty good. That was the meal cold weather. Menu number 11, scrambled eggs and bacon.